Together, we open it with a prayer as we say, Dear God, grant us each day the desire to do our best, to grow mentally and morally as well as physically, to be kind and helpful to my classmates, teachers, and friends, to be honest with myself as well as with others. Teach me the value of true friendship. Help me always to conduct myself so as to bring credit to my school. Amen. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. 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 Good I'm going to check first your attendance. And now, discussing about fractions, for today's KUD, you should know fraction of quantities. You should understand that fraction is a part of a full and we can use it to find the exact value by representing each part when we compare a whole number. And today, I expect that you can do calculating the fraction quantities. But first, let's do some recap. After a long holiday, I'm not sure if you forgot already the following. Can anyone tell me or answer the following questions? First, the first two questions are, how do you know what is fraction of quantities or do you know how know what is a fraction quantities? And how fractions related to a whole number? Anyone? Do you know what are fraction quantities or fraction of quantities? Any idea? Who wants to share? And how fractions related to whole numbers? How are fractions related to whole numbers? Okay, for you to know what are fraction quantities of quantities and know the relationship of fraction to whole numbers, let us watch this video. And then I want you to explain everything you know about fraction of quantities. So teacher will share this video and I want everyone to listen attentively and watch this video. And then after that, you're going to explain it to me. Hi there, welcome to another video from Hegarty Maths. This is Mr. Hegarty here. And in this video, we're going to find uh, a fraction of an amount. So just to make it clear, um, we're working on fractions of an amount and our aim is to be able to find a fraction of any given quantity. It's a typical GCSE question, comes up a lot and a skill you need in life. Okay, so let's do a few examples. So, in this example, we're gonna work out the following. We've got a few questions to go through. The big idea here I would like you to do, okay, I would like you to draw pictures to represent these. When you draw a picture, it makes it much easier to understand, much less likely to make a mistake, and it's just good for your brain. It gives you a chance to process the information. So firstly, we're going to work out one quarter of 40. And what I'm going to do in order to do this is I'm going to draw a box, and that box is going to represent the total amount, which is 40. So this box here represents the total of 40. Now I want one quarter of 40. I want one quarter of this box. 
what I'm going to do is I'm going to divide the box into quarters. So I'm firstly going to halve it, okay? And then I'm going to halve that again, so I have quarters. And the question is, um, what goes in to one box? Because one of the boxes represents a quarter, so we want to find out what goes in one of the boxes. Now, you can do that in a number of ways. You can think what number added together four times adds up to 40. Um, and clearly you can see it would be 10, 10, 10, 10. Or do a division in your head. Do 40 shared out amongst four, and it would be 10 in each box. We want one box, so our answer is equal to 10, and we're done. Okay, let's move on to the next example. We're asked to work out three quarters of $40. Now, what's different in this question? Well, firstly, obviously, it's three quarters, not one quarter, but it's the same numbers in principle um, with the 40. But we have a dollar sign here. So we have a unit associated with our amount. We must give a unit in our answer. There may be two marks for this in an exam. So exactly as we did before, what we're going to do, we're going to draw a box out that represents the total amount, which is 40. We're going to split this into um, quarters, so we're going to halve it, and then we're going to halve it again. So we have quarters. What goes in each box? Well, we had worked that out previously because 40 divided into four boxes would be 10. So 10 goes in each box. But this time we want three of the quarters. We want three of those quarters, so this is the amount we want which is 10, add 10 is 20, add another 10 is 30. Key thing here, don't just write equals 30. 30 what? $30, okay? There may be a mark for the unit in the exam. Okay, let's keep going. Just another two where the numbers are ever so slightly trickier. Four sevenths of 35 kilograms. Again, we have units. So let's draw out our box. Now, we don't have to be exactly accurate with sevenths here because it's more difficult to draw sevenths and quarters. But we're going to split our box, uh, our box, obviously, which represents 35 kilograms in total. So we're going to split our box into sevenths. So approximately, it doesn't have to be exactly right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. OK, it, it, they, they represent equal amounts here. But when you're drawing it, you're just modelling the problem. You don't have to worry too much uh, whether they don't look exactly right. Now, the question is, what goes in each box? Well, uh, we have 35 shared out into seven equal boxes, and the answer is five. Or if you struggle with your divisions, think of what number um, multiplied by uh, seven gives you 35. And hopefully you can come up with five. So five goes in each box. There we go. And we want four of those sevenths. So we want four of the boxes as follows. And the answer will be five plus five plus five plus five, which is 20. But make sure you write the unit is 20 kilograms. Okay, and lastly. Um... And that is fractions of quantity. Now, can anyone explain to me something? The solution falls directly on this zone during the solution about fraction of quantities and the equinoxes. Hmm. Did those was just bounce off your head, solstice and equinox? Well, the time of the year when the sun passes overhead, the farthest north is known as the summer solstice. Okay, going back, can anyone explain everything or something about fractions of quantity? Who would like to share? Do I see any volunteer? Now, how do you find a fraction of a given quantity? Anyone? So one way of identifying fraction of quantity is by using or representing it through a bar model. 
or sometimes we can just simply use division and multiplication. Now, let's do some examples how to apply this fraction of quantities. Example, what is two-fifths of 35 days? What is four-ninth of 72 kilograms? What is four-seventh of two weeks? And then what is five-eighth of 16 centimeters? <clears throat> Let me first show to you how to apply this model or using a diagram. I'm going to draw a box. And then I will divide this box by five. And then this box represents 35 days. If I'm going to divide by five, assume that we have equal, we, have, we divide it equally. And then how many or what is the number in each box? Can anyone tell me what is the number inside each box? If we divide this 37 by 5. 35 um, divided by six, 7. Five. Seven, seven. So this box is equal to 7 each. Seven. And then we need only to get 2 fifths. So I'll go into shade this part or going to take this part, seven. There are two sevens. That means seven times two. Or I can say seven plus seven. seven. So the 14. answer for number one is equal to how many? 14. 14 days. Okay, number two. Let's try the second example. What is 4 over 9 of 72? First, we draw a box. And then we assume this box is equal to 72 kilograms. I'm going to divide this into how many? We divide it into 9. And say 1, 2, 3, 4, Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now let's identify how many kilograms are there in each of my boxes. So what you do is 72 divided by nine. What is 72 divided by nine? Eight. 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 It means for every box we have eight. Eight. So teacher first will write eight in each boxes. Did you my answer is two. Okay, let's see if Brian's answer is correct. Now we need to identify what is four yeah, is of seven. nine. So we're going to check or we're going to get these numbers. One, two, three, four. Four, four times eight. Okay, Four what times. is it? Four 32. times eight, or eight we can add 32. four plus four, sorry, eight plus eight plus another eight plus another eight equals how many? 30 32. 32 what? We need to indicate the unit. 32 kgs, or that means kilograms. Question so far? Not. None. Now, do you want teacher to show a shortcut? A simplest way how to solve it? Okay, let's see. Teacher will show how to do it the easiest way. Let's say, what is four seven of two weeks? If you remember that one week, is equal to how many days? Equal to seven, seven days. So therefore, two seven weeks. Day. Two weeks means 
14, 14 days. days. Right? So listen, yes. teacher will show a shortcut. I will use this two weeks, which is 14 days. And then teacher will divide it by how many? I will divide it by seven. Two, two, two. Two. 14 divided by seven means two. two. And then after that, teacher will multiply it by four. Two. What is two times Eight. four? Eight. Eight. Eight days. So what's the process? Divide and then multiply. Can we try it on my fourth example? Can? Divide and then multiply. Let's try. Okay. Okay, 16. This number, mute. Don't forget to mute. Divided by 8. What's the answer? 16 divided by 8. Centimeter. The answer is 2. two. So two so and then two after times that, five is ten. 2 times 5 means ten. 10. 10. CM. So that is a shortcut how to answer these fractions of quantities. Can we now do the activity? Yes. Yeah. Okay, ready? But first, teacher will clear all the drawing. No. What's the method? Divide and then multiply. Now, I want you to use chat Bye. to message teacher the answer. And then, mute your microphone. Only through chat. Ready? Answer the following. Numbers 1, 2, and 3. Indicate the number in the chat. This is item one, number two, number three. Go. Write your answer. Joey, only uh, can choose one or answer these three. Answer everything. Okay, okay. Okay, go. I'll be giving you time to answer. And then later you have to count how many items you answered correctly. I saw answers coming from Jasmine, Brian, Alfredo, Ricardo, I think. And for set number one, remember you can do like this. 10 divided by five. Then after getting the answer, you multiply it by three. So number one, what's the answer? The answer is six. Number two, what is one half of ten? Five. Five. And then number three, what is three seven right. of fifty six? The answer 24. is twenty four. Twenty four. Who got the first three answers correctly? I. Me, Alfredo. Okay, good. Let's keep going. Let's try the second set. Okay, I will label them as numbers 4, 5, 6. Go. I want everyone to use chat. Message me the answers. Come on.
Brian, use numbers four, five, six. Sure, Brian. And then send it again. No, teacher. Uh, I'm only right one, two, three, but the, my answer is in four, five, six. Mm, okay, okay. Let's see. Kindly check your answers if they are correct. Number four. The answer is 10. Number five. Ten. The answer is five. And number six, the answer five. is six. Six. Who got the second three items correctly? Me, Alfredo. Mr. Keep Keep going. Next set. This one, go. Teacher will write number as seven, eight, and nine. Go. Mervin, are you answering? Where is Grace Lynn, Ferenza, Jessica, Jeslyn, Angelina? Key in your answers on the chat. Come on. Okay, so now answers coming from Jasmine, Jessica, Gilbert, Ricardo, Brian, Akemi, Alfredo, Rivi, not yet, and Jessica. Uh, don't forget to indicate the number that you're answering. Number seven. Is the answer? The answer is five. One. Five, five. 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 Number eight. One. Four. Number nine. It's eight. Okay, I'm right. We got all three correct. Seven, eight, nine. Me, Jasmine. Very good. Who else? Uh, careful, no shouting. Let's continue. This one, go. The numbers are 10, 11, and 12. Okay, so answers coming from Kemi, Alfredo, Gilbert, Rivi, hey, Brian, hey, Brian, kindly check your number 10. Brian, check your number 10. Oh, there you go. Okay. Let's see.
number 10, what is one half of 16? That is eight. 11. 11 eight. is? Three. three. And number three. 12? 25. 25. Who got three yeah. answers correct? Me, Jasmine. Okay, thumbs up. Good, you're doing me. great. Me, Gilbert. Me, Alfredo. Very good. Me, teacher, right? Next set. Here. Numbers 13. Yeah, come on. 14 and 15. Go. Mute. Again, our technique is divide and then multiply the num multiply. Teacher. Yep. What is the name of this fraction? The title of our activity. Teacher, we want to answer. Yes. Fractions of quantities. Ready? What's the answer for number 13? The answer is how many? Two? Two? Fourteen? Three, six. And two, six. three, six. Uh, two, three, six. Three, six. And for the last set, here we go. Go. Noted. Use chat, number 16, 17, 18. Yes. I'm wrong. My 18. Are you answer it again? Okay, for our last set, number 16 to 18, the answers are, check your paper, we have a 16, 16, a 3, 3, 10, 3 and 10. 10, 16, 3, 10. Okay, I want you to check all your answers and then tell me what's your score, who got 18 out of 18. It means all correct. Okay, we give them five. Sure, I get seven. Okay, who got 17 and 18? Raise your hand and then we give them five claps. Ready? Let's clap. One, two, three, four, five. How about a score of 14 to 16? 14 to 16. We give them four claps. Ready? One, two, three, four. Now let's have practice at number two. This time I'm going to show all the given questions. And then teacher will allow annotation. 
Okay, you ready? Go. Choose one item and then write your answer. Oops, let's go back. Ah. Give chance to others to annotate the screen. If someone is working already on that item, then go. Choose another one. My line is too big. Yeah, you're using highlighter. Let me make it number two. There are still some items above. Careful when writing, erase that line. What is three fourths of 32? It's 24, yeah? How about this one? It's incomplete. What is three fourths of 28? Are you sure it's 12? 14. This one should be 21. Mute. Angelina. All cut, all done. One fourth of two, correct. Two fifth okay. of twenty five, correct. Mm -hmm. Seven tenth of forty, correct. Yeah. Okay, all answers now here are correct. Now this time you know how to annotate using a text, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay, yes. I will ask yes. you yes. to do reflection. You can share three words to summarize your learning. Use this part. Annotate using a text. Use this part. Or you can use any part here and then place your text. Go. Using... Three, you can use three words or a single word that will summarize your learning. What can you say about our topic? Use text to annotate. Let's say it's like this. And then I will place it here. Teacher, but my text is so big. It's okay. What is that, Ricardo? It's what? Challenging. It's challenging. You can use text if it's difficult to write. I'm not quite too big, teacher. I can go smaller. Okay, place it on the other side, Revi. Or it's hard. Why? Okay, me. Challenging. Happy. It's easy, teacher. 
I like the easy. Then write easy. Teacher, I will write easy like. Yeah, you can. Yeah, place it uh, not on top Ed. of your other classmates' answer. Okay, easy, easy, fun, good. Okay, thank you. Thank you for sharing your thoughts about this topic. We'll be doing another set of activity next meeting. Ready. Okay. I'm just going to take a screenshot of your answers. Now it's time already and we have to end it this now because you need to take your recess right yes together yes. we say dear god dear. thank you for all the things we have learned today help us remember all we have learned today in class we look forward to tomorrow and all the wonderful things we will be taught amen goodbye and thank you everyone bye bye, bye. 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 See you on Wednesday. Bye-bye.